It's a Korean traditional percussion ensemble. Mm -hmm. And um, when I was here in Korea early on, um, our Korean language teachers took us to see an early performance of this group in 1981. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what came over me. I saw that performance. I felt like there was some kind of revolution in my heart. And I had to stay and I had to learn how to play the music. And that led me to be the group's manager for about 14 years. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so this group is uh, the Kim Jok group. Yes. Yeah, so the Kim Jok Nori is part of a very long tradition of Korean music. However, the idea of four performers sitting on the floor or on the stage facing the audience, that is very new in the tradition. And that was the first group mm -hmm. that originated that particular format in performing. So it's both very traditional and very contemporary at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah. Not a lot of Koreans know that it's actually quite contemporary. It is a band, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it, of course, it has a, its roots in tradition. But it's basically a group of guys who got together to play percussion music. Wow. So it's four players, as you mentioned, so it's yeah. more like a quartet. It is a quartet, okay. yeah. yeah. And there are two guns and two drums. And uh, the sound, we, Samanori came onto the world stage at a very interesting time. Mm -hmm. It was a time when people all over the world were getting interested in so-called world music, which mm -hmm. is um, traditional music, but brought forward in a very contemporary context. And so that was one of the reasons why Samanori was so well received abroad when he first started performing overseas in the mid 1980s. So you worked as a manager for them? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was kind of an interesting mm -hmm. story because um, I heard them perform and you know, I was overcome by this and mm -hmm. so my first thought was I want to go learn how to play these instruments. And mm -hmm. so it's, the first thing I did was find out whenever they were performing and I became a groupie, all right? Mm -hmm. And I would record their performances and finally I got up the courage to asked them where their studio was, and I went there, and I was all prepared to ask for lessons, and when I did, they said no. Oh. And so my heart was broken, because mm -hmm. I was really set on learning this, but I didn't give up, and finally, Kim Dok Su gave me the key to their studio, and so I used to go there early, early in the morning and practice. And finally, after you know months and months of this, he finally said, okay, well, you're obviously really interested in this. I'll teach you a few rhythms and everything. Mm -hmm. but